Welcome everybody to another segment of Living Technologies. I want to address this coronavirus pandemic that is putting everybody into fear. And I want to explain a couple of things. This is Ice Age Farmer. I love listening to him. You should go to his videos. He's bringing out the truth about this so-called pandemic, which is a, a psyops. Unfortunately, it's not real and they're covering something else up with that. They want to get control of the populations on the planet and that's going to be quite a challenge because there's more of us than them but basically to get back to your health and your concerns about your health your concerns about the coronavirus it's just the same as the ebola virus the bird flu virus the pig virus all the other viruses that they were just doing test runs on to see how people would react so now they're calling this the crown virus because corona means crown like it crowns all the other viruses, right? And so I want to clarify for people that any virus needs to be invited into your body in order for it to be hosted in you. And in order to do that, you have to be susceptible or you, have, or you are immune compromised, truly are. And you have cancer or you have one of the other diseases. And so you need to support your immune system. And there's several different products that I'm going to suggest for everybody. You can find them on my website. You could also find them anywhere on the internet, I believe. I try to do the best pricing, get the best pricing for you guys, and especially when you buy in volume. I give really great, amazing discounts that you won't get anywhere else. So I want to start, first of all, start with this, and this is Ice Age Farmer. Like I said, Christian, I love his videos, and please go to his, go watch his channel. Because he has some amazing information about what really is going on with this coronavirus and how they're trying to put fear into all of us. So one of the things that I want to share with you now is my website, Living Technologies. And there are several products. One, of course, that I'm featuring here is a super immune activator and how to make raw kefir milk GCMAF with my product. And so it's easier to buy it as a kit from us. It's pretty inexpensive. The a second product that I'm going to suggest for people for their immune system, if you know they don't have the financing to purchase it and you're a little tight on money, then I would suggest that you buy our raw colostrum powder. It's raw, it's organic, and it's freeze-dried, and all the information is on the page. This will enhance your beta-glucans, which enhances your immune system. So this is one product that you can take which is the bovine colostrum powder that could really help you boost your immune system if you're concerned about any of these viruses affecting you. Now I'm gonna to go to the next page, which actually is the um, detox and detoxification program for a complete body cleanse, and also to protect you from viruses. So there's a featured product that I have, which is called Miracore EPF, and actually, it's been, the name has been changed now to Plant Biotics, as you can see right here. It, there's several reasons why, why the whole product was changed, not the actual ingredients. They were some added ingredients that really help your immune, boost your immune system, but they also kill all pathogens. Pathogens are viruses or bacteria. So this is another phenomenal product that I have a lot of information on that you can read and get acquainted and... Um, catch up with what is available to support your immune system and to support yourself so that these viruses or bacterias do not interfere with your life and you continue to be healthy and in a good place. So another product that I am going to suggest, which is a phenomenal product, is this product, Silver, uh, Silver Biotics, and it's a Health Max 30 ppm. It is actually a colloidal silver product that is phenomenal. And if you are sick or are getting sick and you're worried about the viruses or the bacteria, this is a great product that you can take internally. I've done nasal irrigation with it. Some people I know are doing, are doing the inhalations with them. It's a phenomenal product and we also have another line of their products which is not as strong, the 10 ppm that you could use like to spray your mouth right here. The Silver Biotics, this one is a four ounce and actually you could use it as a spray in your throat. 
going to actually let people know that the viruses usually that are breathe, that you breathe in, if you eat them, basically, they, they could affect your intestinal tract if it's an intestinal virus. But if it's a respiratory virus, then you have to breathe them in. And so they live in the sinus area. So you want to clean your sinuses out. And this is one of the products that you could use. If you want my suggestions, please come chat with me and I will be happy to give you information on how to use this product, the silver biotic product, if you're going to do a nasal irrigation like with a neti pot. So that's one of the other things that I do or I'm starting to get sick and I'm starting to feel the fluish kind of symptoms and the congestion in my nose, I always do a neti pot right away. I don't wait till the next day. So the other product that I want to cover with you is our medicinal mushrooms. And that is from Aloha Medicinals. This product, Immunosis Critical Care, is a phenomenal product. Immunosis Critical Care formula is exactly for people that are very critical, very sick. So this will boost your immune system. It has the highest level of beta-glucans of any product on the market. And when I mix the Aloha Medicinals Immunosis Critical Care with my product, the Super Immune Activator product, which I will go to now, and because that's what we're going to feature in this video, you will see a video here of what are the components, but the Super Immune Activator also has, because of the colostrum and because of the kefir grains, it has a tremendous amount of beta-glucans and also has a tremendous amount of probiotics that you will not find in any other product on the market, period. Absolutely will not find it because it's too expensive for the labs to manufacture 1,100 different probiotic strains and put them into one probiotic powder. So this is a product that is helping people with all kinds of Lyme's disease, autism spectrum disorder, cancer. So this is for severely compromised people. And that's what I'm going to be featuring today. That's why I want to leave this product for last on this video. And please enjoy the video. It's going to be about 30 minutes long, but it's going to give you the step-by-step -step on how to make the product. And if you have any questions at all, again, you're free to come chat with us on our chat here on Living Technologies. If I am available, I will answer the phone and answer your questions. But if I'm not available, please leave a message and I will get right back to you or one of our other customer service reps will get right back to you. Thanks for watching this and I, to your best health and wellness and the remediation of your health and your well-being is what I pray for all of us here in this country and in other countries and to just boost your immune system so that these viruses can't touch you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Welcome to another segment by Living Technologies on how to make raw kefir milk first of all, for your GCMAF. So our product is called Super Immune Activator. And this product is just four different items that are only $163.79 for a six month supply for you to make GCMAF raw kefir milk at home. This is my proprietary blend that I came up with. And I did that for the following fact that I wanted something that it was super probiotic as opposed to the Bravo product that you get that is not super probiotic because it, first of all, it's made in a lab. Um, second of all, in order to get a six month supply like we have, you would have to spend about 800 to a thousand dollars. So their three month supply is between 400 and 500 dollars. Our six month supply, which is right here, is good for six months. So that's a six month supply for one quarter of the price is the way I will put it. Um, I also want to talk about, I'm going to talk about the different products and then how you can use them. So let's get to it. First, I'm introducing these products. This is a kit. We call it our super immune activator kit and it contains the following four products. We have our 
raw organic grass-fed um, colostrum powder that is freeze-dried. I'm going to get into a little bit of each item so that you know where it came from, how, how we came about um, using this for our GCMAF Super Immune Activator. This product, the reason why I chose this particular colostrum powder is because it is milked six, day, six hours after the baby, the calf, is born. So we're giving the calf the opportunity to get their immune system up and running because colostrum is actually what we mammals need in order to survive and in order for our immune system to be boosted. So it's an immune booster, the colostrum is. So that's number one. The most important thing also is how the, the cows are being taken care of and the calves. That's another critical thing for us that we want to have sustainable type of farms that we deal with. Now, from the Pacific Northwest all the way down to California, we have different dairy farms that ship their colostrum liquid in big trucks to our, the facility that actually freeze dries this product. And they test each batch, DNA tested, to make sure there's no artificial hormones, there's no pathogens, there's nothing wrong with the milk, that it is organic, that it is grass-fed, so it doesn't have any, any tainting going on whatsoever. If they do find a batch that is tainted for whatever reason, they will dump it and not use that as part of their whole process to freeze dry it so we can turn it into a powder and then send it to you. So colostrum is one of the key components of the super immune activator product as well as the Bravo product. And what we do is we actually give you eight ounces as opposed to giving you in a three month supply, you actually are only gonna get about three ounces, two to three ounces. So that's the difference between our product and, and the Bravo product. Vitamin D3 plus K2 that is not included in the Bravo product, we include it in our product. And this bottle is a one ounce bottle you can get 900 drops out of it, and each drop is equal to 2,000 units, so you, you can figure it out. For people that are very severely health compromised with different issues, you can use more. You can use up to three drops, four drops, five drops. Just remember there's 2,000 units per drop depending on your needs. And then what we've done is actually, I'm gonna, I'm going to move this here. First, we're going to go to our proprietary 23 blend probiotic powder um, that is uh, 100 billion probiotics per each little ladle, which is one gram. And there's enough here for a six month supply. And all you're going to need is one ladle that's 100 billion probiotics. The reason why is because we have these beautiful kefir grains, um, and the kefir grains contain within them all of the different probiotics that the milk, the raw organic grass-fed milk contains, not cooked. Anytime you cook milk, you actually kill the probiotics, you kill the good yeast in it, and you actually kill the good um, digestive enzymes that are in there for you to digest the milk. So this is the reason why most people are allergic to dairy products. It's because it's been homogenized, ultra pasteurized or pasteurized and all of those are very detrimental to our body. So I'm always suggesting for people to find a source in your local area of raw grass fed or organic raw milk. This is the foundation for you to be able to make a really good high quality source of GCMAF with our super immune activator. So let's talk a little bit about the kefir grains. The kefir grains are an amazing substance that came out of the raw milk and what happened is 7,000 years ago in the Caucasus Mountains they used to put them in big bags like um, udders that they of the, the sheep or goat that probably goat or cows that they actually had butchered and what they would do is they would actually hold the milk in these containers eventually later on they actually made barrels uh, oak barrels where they would put the milk 
And what happened is that this woman in the Caucasus Mountains that had this fermented milk, she was just fermenting without the kefir grains in the Caucasus Mountains, one day went ahead and started to clean up the bag, right, the udder that she had, the raw milk, and found these grains. And she was surprised because these grains and kefir milk, they call it the champagne of all of the fermented milks because it's so effervescent. So that is part of the reason why I wanted to use the kefir grains instead of just using these probiotics, which is what um, the Bravo product has. So this adds another extra, big extra amount of probiotics. Th these grains, when you put them in a container like this and you ferment your milk, and we'll go to that in our next video, I'll show you how to do this. These grains actually produce per millimeter 50 billion probiotic count per milliliter. So if you look at that, that is not even a quarter of a teaspoon. So when you're taking a teaspoon or two teaspoons or five teaspoons, and you're actually doing two, ta you're doing three tablespoons and two ounces, three to four tablespoons. So you're going to get a much higher probiotic count using the kefir grains. Also, you're using a live culture that keeps growing. And I'll talk about how to take care of your kefir grains in our next video, but for now I wanted to introduce you to kefir grains and introduce you to how amazingly they ferment the milk and cause the milk to become effervescent and also cause your kefir milk and your GCMAF that you're going to make with it um, into a much higher probiotic count um, for you to heal your gut, for you to be able to heal yourself from different diseases that you may have in your body and we'll talk about that on our next video about how many diseases there are, what, what can help you remedy that, why do we get those, leaky gut syndrome, there's all kinds of things that these, these products in our super immune activator kit will cover and like I said before this is a six month supply that is included with the vitamin D instead of excluding it and this six month supply is going to cost you $163.79 for a six month supply. When you get the Bravo product, it is going to cost you for a three month supply a minimum of four to five hundred dollars per kit for a 13 pack kit. Um, so I just wanted to touch on that really briefly, briefly and give you the difference between the two. And as people that have been doing raw food for a long time are very aware raw is better than cooked, I do want to talk about milk. When you actually drink or eat homogenized milk, um, ultra-pasteurized milk, you will not be able to digest it. Cheeses that are not raw, it's very hard to digest because it kills all the probiotics. So there's these beautiful 60 different varieties of probiotics in the milk. They'll, they'll die. The 40 good yeast bacteria that's in there as well will die. And also the digestive enzymes will also die when you ultra pasteurize or you pasteurize the milk. So this is why I am suggesting for people to find raw milk to do your super immune activator because you'll get a much better quality of nutrition from your food because this is food. And basically, food is key to our life, and this is one of the key things to having your health back. So on our next video, we will show you how to make GCMAF at home with raw kefir milk and with our four-item package, our Super Immune Activator Kit. So see you on the next video, and thanks for watching. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another segment of Living Technologies and this is a video where I'm going to show you how to make GCMAF at home with raw milk, fermenting it with the kefir grains, and having a higher probiotic count so that you can heal your intestine tract, your actual digestive tract, um, and many other diseases that it actually helps to remedy and heal. So let's get started, shall we? 
The four ingredients you're going to need, which we men mentioned on our previous video, is this one bag of eight ounces of raw organic grass-fed colostrum powder. Your vitamin D3 plus K2, our proprietary blend, uh, Living Technologies, and this is our proprietary blend of 23 different probiotics that are a hundred billion count for one gram, okay? And they are raw organic as well. So everything we sell is raw organic, um, except for obviously the vitamin D3, but everything else is raw organic and natural. And then of course your kefir grains. Oh. The first thing we're gonna do today is before I show you how to make or ferment your milk, your raw milk, um, I want to show you these different tools that we've added to our website, living-technologies.info, to help you ferment your kefir grains and preserve them. So, these are little cages that you can actually put your kefir grains in. This is enough if you buy two of our one ounce jars to make, to have enough here for two, um, two ounces will make a half a gallon. For those of you that have a large family of four or six, that you wanna help them recover from either very serious diseases or you can actually help them to restore their gut flora with this, just with the raw kefir milk products, okay? So I wanna talk about these. This is our large cage, our fermentation cage with the, for the kefir grains. This is our medium cage for the kefir grains, and this actually will fit this one ounce. And as the kefir grains grow, they may outgrow this, this little cage, okay? This is our small kefir cage, okay? Kefir grain cage that you put the grains in when you receive this, and then you have this, you open it up. And I'm gonna show you and you put the kefir grains in that. I'm gonna show you in the one that I'm working on fermenting right now, okay? Then we have these items that you can actually put, this is a wide mouth size jar, and this is the beautiful thing about this, is it has holes in it, so it will vent out the gases that the fermentation process causes. So I'm just gonna use this empty jar to show you how that would go at the bottom. Let's imagine that there's kefir grains in there, in the little basket, okay? And you're gonna put in your wide mouth sauce jar with the, with the milk, and this will help you a lot. It helps you from the hassle of using these strainers, okay? The nylon or the metal strainers, okay? Either way, these are BPA-free plastic. These are as well. But it's a hassle for people sometimes when they're very immune compromised. They don't have a lot of energy to do this process. This makes it really simple. You could just put your kefir grains in here and dump them in your milk and start fermenting, okay? We also have this fermentation light that I'm gonna demonstrate in a minute um, to help you ferment your kefir milk. So here's our wide mouth jar, okay? Which is a bigger top to it. And then we also have some, if you have small mouth jars like this one that our honey came in, you can actually use this guy for a small mouth. And this is a smaller, this is our small cage, okay? So if you don't have a lot of kefir, kefir grains and you wanna ferment your milk, this is how you could do it. So I'm gonna put those over there. And again, these are on our fermentation, our kefir fermentation page that you can purchase these items pretty inexpensively from us. So um, I will demonstrate in a minute. I'm gonna move this over here <laughs> so that you can see how I do the fermentation process. Is I am in the process of fermenting my kefir milk that's in here. And you may or may not be able to see the, the, the cage that's in here. This is a medium sized cage and it's full of kefir grains. I'm gonna, this is my milk that I'm doing for myself. So if I put my hand in, I don't care. But if you're doing it at home and you wanna wear rubber gloves, you're welcome to do that. This kefir cage is full of kefir grains. 
okay? Those are all kefir grains. And you can see how the fermentation process is starting there. Can you see the edges right there? That's milk fermenting and getting kind of like a curd, getting thicker. Um, and then what happens is that that will continue to increase to fill out the whole jar. So what I do is when I receive my kefir grains from Living Technologies, I put them in this little cage. I close the cage. I dump it in my milk. It's really easy. Okay. So I dump it in my milk. We have these really nice silicone-based nipples that have a hole in there that help breathe. So I use those when I'm not using one of these guys. If you're going to buy one of these from us, you're not going to need your nipple, okay? Because this has holes in it. You can kind of see them if I show you that, okay? And it will allow the gases to outgas, which causes the milk to sour. So this helps it from not souring. Okay, it'll let it out gas. So you can either buy one of these from us to do a quart size jar, or you can buy one of these from us to do a quart size jar with a little smaller amount of kefir grains, right? I don't, I don't personally use those. I like the cages. I like to use my nipple containers and you just use the metal part of the canning jar and I just close it. And when this starts to ferment, the gases, I just open the little nipple and let the gas come out so that these are called the kefir grains or the kefir milk, okay? It's called the champagne of all the fermented milks because it's effervescent and that's what you want to end up with. So this, I just started today. It's going to take me probably another day or so and it'll be fermented, okay? What you want is you want to end up with this kind of texture and consistency. You will end up with this after it's in the fridge for a few days, by the way. When you first get the kefir milk to ferment, to be fermented, actually this will turn into a curd. The whole, the whole jar, when you move it, okay, it'll be one single item. You also have, you will actually have um, the whey, which is the yellow liquid that separates the clear yellow liquid, that's whey, that's the protein in the milk, that separates it and it'll either separate at the bottom or separate at the top. And you'll have about that much, about that much, it's half an inch, I guess, of whey, you know that's when your fermented milk is ready, okay? Once it separates from the other parts, the whole part of the milk, then you know it's ready and once you have a curd that you can move this right now look how liquidy it is try to do that with this big difference right you can tell this is unfermented very fermented okay so you want to get this process takes 24 to 48 hours depending on on how what you're using to ferment if you're putting it in the sun by the window seal be careful if you do that if it's too hot it may ferment it too quick and cook your milk literally okay so you want to keep it the degree that you want to keep your milk fermenting is between 85 degrees up to 92 degrees body temperature so these grow lights these fermentation lights help with this process especially if you put it into a cubby hole like this Okay, so I'm going to turn that light on and you're going to get to see it. And I can put this right next to the light. It won't burn it. It won't hurt it. And what I usually do is I close the area, the cupboard where I have it, so it will retain more heat, right? The, the whole idea is that light is going to spread heat. So for those of you that live in colder climates and are having a problem fermenting your raw milk, you may want to buy one of our lights like this one that you can ferment your milk with and this has an on off button so it's easy for you to have it plugged in and turn it on or off okay so now like I said have something like this set up okay you can either have it set up in a cupboard like this or the way I have it and you'll see that right now is in my oven and because we sell so many kefir grains to everybody that's 
has an immune compromised system, we have to have a lot of kefir grains that we actually keep growing. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to run out and we're not going to be able to give you the needed um, product that you're waiting for when you order our super immune activator. So you'll see how we have our light in our oven and we have our kefir grains that are fermenting there um, that we change every week. The milk is changed every week. And actually, my kefir grains, I just brought them out to show you. But what I usually do is I put these in my oven next to the light and let it ferment. And I just check it every 24 hours. You check it. Do you see if it's fermented? If the kefir is already fermented, the kefir grains have fermented your milk. And like I said, the, the fermented milk is going to be a whole curd. So the whole thing is going to move as one single item. And you're going to see the whey at the top or the bottom, the yellow clear liquid that's separated. And that pretty much is the one that tells you, oh, I fermented it. It's ready to go. It's ready to be used. So this is the first part of our video where how to ferment your kefir milk first and then the next segment we're going to do is actually how to put the other products into the kefir milk in order to make it into GCMAF. So we'll see you on our next educational and training video. Thanks for watching and please go to living-technologies.info where you can buy all these fermenters, where you can buy the light, and you can get your supplies, your super immune activator product supplies. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our third segment on how to make raw kefir milk, organic, GCMAF at home with our super immune activator kit. So I'm going to use my kit, my older kit, because I don't want to open this now. But I want to show you now that we've fermented the milk, okay, and we actually have it. I'm going to put it in here. So this milk is fermented now, okay, and you can kind of tell it's kind of thick. And I already did this process, so I'm just pretending with you guys. <laughs> but what you're going to do is you're going to take your your cage that has the kefir grains. So you're going to take your kefir grain cage that has the kefir grains out of the jar and you're going to pour it into your blender. Okay. This one is still fermenting, so I'm going to leave it alone, but I just wanted to show you what to do. So you're taking your kefir grains out and you're going to pour your fermented milk that's already fermented. You're going to put two scoops of your colostrum powder in there. Okay, so you're going to go one and two, and you're going to dump it in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grab our probiotic, let's see, I forgot, quantum probiotic activator is what we call it, okay? Um, I'm going to open this one. It's the first time that I'm using my product. Okay, so I'm going to open it and you only need to use let's see. Okay, so it has a seal on it. Okay, so you only need to use one gram and it'll come with this one gram little ladle. Okay, so you're just going to fill it up like that. Okay, one gram and you're going to dump it in there. Okay, I already did this with this product, so I don't need to do it again. <laughs> but just for purposes of showing you how to make this, I wanted to do that. So we have our kefir milk here. It's probably going to be up to here because this is already halfway done. Okay, And what you're going to do is you have all the two powders here, right? the colostrum and our probiotic powders. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to put it in whatever blender you have, Put it on a slow for 20 seconds, okay, and you're just gonna let it spin for 20 seconds so it mixes all the powders and gets it into your milk. Since I already did this, I don't have to do 20 seconds, but you probably will because of all the powders. You wanna make sure that all the powders are smoothed out and they're not in your kefir milk anymore. Um, 
Also, what you can do is as you make your raw GCMAF kefir milk, and it does separate, it will separate a little bit from the whey, you can redo what I'm doing now. So now, let's pretend that this is a new, brand new batch, which is this one I'm waiting for, okay? So it's a brand new batch, and what we're gonna do is, let's pretend that it fills up the whole thing, okay? Um, this is an older batch, and you can see how fermented this is and how thick it is. It's really yummy. So you want to let your brand new fermented kefir milk with these two ingredients added to it, the colostrum and the probiotic powder, or probiotic activator powder, powder which is the, I will read it again, quantum probiotic activator powder, also raw, 23 different types of probiotics in them, okay? And you're just gonna blend this one and this one into this like you just saw. And you're gonna let this sit out on your county, counter for an hour. So just let it sit there for an hour. Come back after the hour. And if you don't mind taking it, eating it warm, I like it warm or cold, you can actually now pour your GCMAF into a two ounce container like this one and look how thick it is, okay? That's a beautiful kefir, very thick, All right? I'm gonna pour it back in there <laughs> so you can see how thick it is. In order to get this consistency, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're not gonna get it right away. It's gonna be kind of watery on the first go around when you first make it. When you let it sit in your fridge for, for a, a day or two, it'll start to thicken and you'll see um, the yeast from the kefir grains will start to thicken it and make it grow and it will also separate again from the whey. So all you have to do is mix it like we did, re-blend it, and you have your product complete. Now what you do, I'm not gonna open this one, but let's pretend I have it open. I'm gonna put three drops, that's what I use, and I'm a healthy individual, that's 6,000 units. For severely comp compromised cancer, uh, pe people that have cancer, I don't wanna call them patients because they're not my patients, you aren't. <laughs> um, but for severely compromised cancer people, you actually want to probably put six drops, okay, of the vitamin D3 plus K2 into your kefir mix, mix it, and drink it. I actually add B12. Um, you can also add different things, um, different supplements to it if you want to do that. If not, that's okay. Um, if you don't, really, I love the taste because like I said, it's very effervescent. But so what I do is I actually have this, what's called low sweet and it's monk fruit, okay? You can buy this on Amazon. It's kind of expensive, but this little container will last you a very long time. And I just put in a tiny little bit of powder, hardly anything at all, just like that, okay? To sweeten it up a little bit for me. I put my D3 and I put three drops of D3 and I put my B12 because I want B12 in it. You can do whatever you want. And then I put the drops of B12 in there. I mix it. And then what I do is I mix it like with one of my, I stir it in and then I drink it. Now I had shingles. Had is the operating word. And the pain was from right here all the way down my arm, on the inside of my arm and on the side of my body, okay? You can use this topically once you put the D3 in it. You don't have to obviously use this. Um, I tell people that if you have product that has gotten too old in your fridge and it's kind of, tastes kind of sour and bitter, you can actually use that to, to put topically on your body and it has a lot of probiotics so it really helps heal. Um, whether you have like I said, shingles or other people that have psoriasis, I, sug I suggest that people put it right on their body because the phagocytes will go right in through the pores of the body and start healing the skin, okay? So that's something you can do. Also, what you can do is I usually tell people to grab two ounces of the product or fill this up, okay? Get yourself some suppositories 
that are either BPA-free or they have some silicone suppositories. I can't find them, otherwise I would show them to you. You can buy, find those on Amazon or you can find them on eBay. And you can actually mix half of this, so we'll take half of it, okay? You can mix half of your, it's going to be one ounce, okay? And you're going to grab some coconut oil and you're going to mix half of it in here. You're going to blend it again. And then you're going to pour it into your suppositories if you want to use suppositories. The other option that you can do with the GCMAF is you can actually do vaginal or anal implants. Why is that? Well, I'll explain to you why. Is because when we take it down the gullet, <coughs> down the digestive tract, we have acid stomachs in our body that prevent us from getting the full benefit of all these probiotics and all the good yeasts. So what, what I do is with severely immune compromised people, people that have problems with their intestinal tract, I recommend or I suggest that they do either an enema to clean themselves out first and then they can do an implant with the enema bucket. That's how I do it. Or I have some uh, customers of ours that have purchased our super immune activator and what they suggested is for you to go to Walmart to get the plastic part of the syringe that they use for patients that have um, I think it's it's a high blood sugar issue in their body um, you can just get the syringes just the plastic part not the metal part and you just want the little syringes and you can fill it up and you can use that a five millimeter or ten millimeter I usually tell people get a five millimeter syringe fill it up with this substance and actually you can do an anal implant with that we have um, I have several of our customers that are doing four of those implants a day with the syringe just the plastic part where they and they're not having any leakage problems for women that have a lot of problems with their reproductive system and a lot of women right now because we live in such a toxic very toxic planet our food is toxic the air is toxic the water is toxic anyhow long story short what I suggest for women to do if they want to get rid of endometriosis you want to get rid of ovarian cysts you have cancer in your reproductive area you want to va do vaginal implants and the way that I do the vaginal implants is I do them with a douche a bulb that you can get on Amazon that's also made out of silicone and I use an ounce and I put another ounce of warm water with it and then I just get that in my body in those parts um, and it actually is an amazing healer and you'll find that you're going to heal from your condition a lot faster than actually just taking it internally so topically and then other orifices that you can actually put it into to help you restore your gut flora it will it will rebuild your microbiome and the other thing that it will do is it'll actually benefit you your gut if you have leaky gut the ideal thing would be for you to do the GMAF and actually do an extra tablespoon of the colostrum powder mix it in your blender sorry about that mix that in your blender and actually then do an anal implant because colostrum when you do it anally it gets rid of leaky gut much faster than if you take it down in and you drink it now if you're gonna just drink it what is suggested and recommended by different physicians is to do some baking soda half a teaspoon of baking soda in about four ounces of water wait half an hour after you do the baking soda and then do the GCMAF on an empty stomach because it reduces the amount of acids in the body in your in your intestinal tract and in the digestive tract so not all of this goes to waste about 60% of it when you take it you drink it you're gonna lose about anywhere between 50 and 60% of the probiotics and also of the good bacteria um, so keep that in mind so now you know how to make GCMAF at home with raw milk and kefir grains and how to ferment it and how to put these com components together so that you can heal yourself and whatever issues you have with your body. 
Now, there's a long list on our website that tells you all the different diseases that it assists with and that can help you restore your health and gut and body flora back to normal so that you can have a normal life again. With that, I'm going to leave you, and on our next segment, we'll talk about how to kefirize um, your juices. But for now, we're just going to talk about this product, and thanks for watching. We look forward to having you visit our website and buy our Super Immune Activator with the kefir grains so that you can heal your body and improve your health. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.